I was so lucky to be cast in Romeo and Juliet that Sir Peter Hall was directing here in LA at year 2000. There's something about Juliet, the, you know, sort of healthier version of the young love archetype that there's an innocence and a purity that uh, I'm not saying that we've lost it in our society, but it is innate in all of us to fall madly in love. And the, the expectancy of when you're in love or newly in love, the expectancy of your lover, that loved one, what that time apart creates, it's, it's a vortex, a phenomenal energy. <laughs> and I wanted to explore that because when I was performing this, I was really, I, I was really moved by the verse, always. So I'm reading from the Folger. This is Romeo and Juliet, Act 3, Scene 2. Gallop apace, you fiery-footed steeds! Towards Phoebus lodging, such a wagoner as Phaeton would whip you to the west and bring in cloudy night immediately. Oh, spread thy close curtain, love performing night, that runaway's eyes may wink and Romeo leap to these arms, untalked of and unseen. Lovers can see to do their amorous rites by their own beauties, or if Love be blind, it best agrees with night. Come, civil night, thou sober suited matron all in black, and learn me how to lose a winning match played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Hood my unmanned blood bathing in my cheeks with thy black mantle till strange love grow bold. Think, true love acted with simple modesty. Come, night. Come, Romeo. Come, thou day in night, for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night, whiter than new snow upon a raven's back. Come, gentle night, come, loving, black-browed night, give me my Romeo, and when I shall die, take him and cut him into little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Oh, I have bought the mansion of a love, but not possessed it. And though I am sold, not yet enjoyed. So tedious is this day, as is the night before some festival to an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. Oh, here comes my nurse, and she brings news and every tongue that speaks but Romeo's name speaks heavenly eloquence. Now, nurse, what news? What hast thou there? The cords that Romeo bid thee fetch. 